All right, it looks like we are live. Um, waiting on Bayushi Noman here to join the game. Let me move this. So, uh, my computer is currently exporting a video, so my CPU usage is like really high. So, uh, let me know if there are any issues with the stream. Unfortunately, no one else was available to stream, so hopefully this works out. And I need to upgrade my computer, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the deck list real quick while we're waiting here. Um, jokingly, is, is pretty typical. Unicorn Splash. Um, he's on three times Casada, one times Yori. Crab Scorpion match, huh? Yeah, uh, this is for the semi-finals of the Season 7 Cup, Crab vs. Scorpion. Uh, in the other bracket, oh, also, another thing I should probably mention is I'm trying out a feature to display chat messages on the stream. Uh, hopefully that is working correctly and looks okay. Um... Yeah, on the other side of the bracket, let's see who we have. It is? Okay, good. Uh, I'm not sure if Travis has played his game yet. A bit long. Yeah, I can shorten it, I guess. It's going to make it smaller, though. Hmm. I don't know. I'll play around with it, maybe. <laughs> Shoot says that if no one can't be here, then... He'll play jokingly again. Seems fair. Yeah, I'm not sure who won, because uh, the deadline was a couple days ago for the top eight, but it looks like the bracket hasn't been updated yet. Um, so I'm not sure who won those games. Could be a couple scorpions, could be a crane, could be a phoenix. Um... The scorpion deck here, let's see. Ooh, we got the hawk tattoo. Three let go, two hawk tattoo. So yeah, expect to see a lot more hawk tattoo in the game. Um, that card is pretty good, it turns out. Other than that, looks pretty normal. There's one I can swim. No crane anymore. Uh, did Travis make it? Yeah, yeah, I don't have the deck list um, on stream right now. I'm, I just have them open in a separate window. Oh, there he is. So we should be ready to go here. Uh, yeah, Nomen 1 versus Joe. Gyro 1 versus Crane. Yeah, so the only game that... Yeah, the only game we don't know is the Travis game, I guess. Uh, he was at Gen Con, so it's possible that he hasn't played that game yet. Um, and once again, I just want to say this one more time. So the image is not loading. That's odd. Um, my CPU usage is pretty high right now because I'm exporting a video, so if there are any issues with the stream, just let me know. 
hopefully it will all work out. Looks fine at the moment, good. I don't know if the chat is readable either on the stream. Yeah, I guess that's readable. It's about the same size as the text. Um, I might I might change how that looks, but for now I'll just leave it the way it is. Um, it's mainly so when I upload the video on YouTube, people ooh, people can uh, see what the comments were. Um, very unfortunate start for jokingly here finds two keeper initiates. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is not what you want to see. He will just go ahead and take the passing fate. Oh, that's that's weird. The bid dial, yeah, the bid dial image isn't loading, but it, I guess the number is a separate image. Um, so hopefully he finds some conflict characters here and can get an Earth Ring. Uh, it looks like Bayushi Noman will be attacking the Earth Ring though. If you have an assassinate, you might just play it. Uh, we see court games, nice. So this is going to dishonor the rumor monger so that he will not be able to cancel an assassinate. Yeah, and Bayushi Noman passes, so now you assassinate him. Yep, there it is. So this actually seems good for Crab. Um, this is defend the wall too, wow. So if he has some conflict characters, yeah, there's a wayfinder. So this is potentially actually really good. Uh, and he's going to see meditations on the Tao. It's a good one to find as well. And Bayushi Noman passes, wow. <laughs> so it turns out it turns out that this flip was actually not bad because he just had like exactly the conflict cards he needed. And this is actually going to go really well for Crab. Um, both of the Keeper Initiates come out. Jokingly even gets to resolve the Earth Ring. Discards a Bonsai. <laughs> yeah, best flop 2018 for sure. Um, So one of these Keeper Initiates is going to attack, finds Shameful Display, not going into Meditations, interestingly. Um, I might have just attacked Meditations here. That does put your Keepers off cycle, but I think it's fine. Like, you don't really care too much about losing a Fate on a Keeper Initiate. Um, it looks like Noman has no Conflict character, though, so... This is actually going to go unpunished. Um, the firing will honor the other Keeper Initiate. Yeah, if Noman had one of the three assassinate, um, jokingly still could have had another conflict character though. That was political, so no skirmishers, but... Okay, and now we're going to see the Water Ring. Um, so this is interesting. We see a way of the scorpion to dishonor the keeper initiate, so he's trying to prevent the break. We have an ornate fan. So watering is interesting here. Um, obviously void does nothing, so you don't want to go void. Uh, but if you go air, that will actually turn on the scorpion box. Whereas... So either you steal one honor and he just steals it back, or you gain two honor, go up to nine, and then he steals one. He's at nine, you're at eight. Um, so this way there will be no fate. I think the only difference is there's going to be no fate on the water ring now and one fate on the air ring. Jokingly might want to claim that air ring next turn, uh, especially if he sees a Kudaka. He will get the favor, and he will break shameful display as well, so a really strong turn here from Crab. Things are looking pretty good. Um, I think you discard the, no, looks like he didn't discard either. 
Uh, it works out though, he finds two four cost characters. That's actually a really good flip from Crab here. He could have found like a Caillou Envoy and the third keeper and that would be bad. Um, but luckily he gets some high cost guys so he'll actually be able to play both of them here. That Wayfinder was worth a Fate Worse Than Death IMO. Yeah, I I agree. Um, if you had Fate Worse Than Death, maybe you play it on the Wayfinder. The problem is, if if jokingly has a rat or the other Wayfinder, then he just plays that. Um, we're going to see jokingly drop his bid to 1 here. Wow. Uh, so that possibly suggests that he has found at least one Spyglass. Yep, there's the Spyglass on Shuichi. See if there's a let go. I think if you have a let go, you do play it, probably. Yeah, he does play let go. Another Spyglass. If he just has all three Spyglass, uh, well, he's out of fate now. He can get some back, but if he has all three Spyglass, I think that's really good. We see another let go on the Spyglass. Wow. Um, so no more... Spyglasses until he gets some fate from a ring or from Shuichi now. Uh, we also see the Hidden Moon Dojo get flipped from Scorpion. This is their new one times holding. Um, it lets you play characters in adjacent provinces as if you were as if they were in your hand, and during a conflict you can use an action to turn an adjacent province face up. Uh, the card in the province that is. Um, He's going to go into Meditations. Like I said, he found that with Wayfinder last turn, which was pretty lucky. And he is going to go Airing this time. So his plan was to take the Fate off the Airing, which is why he went Water water last turn. Um, so it is a little bit unfortunate that Hidden Moon Dojo got flipped on the very end province here. Uh, since it works on adjacent provinces, you'd rather have it on one of the middle ones. But still a good card. Like, I was saying the other day, like, I think there's just no downside to this card. It's just, like, it's not game-breakingly good, but it's just always a good card to f see. There's, like, never a time when you're unhappy to see it. Um, hmm, we see a fine katana on the, the Bayushi Manipulator. Going to win that defense, um... You're, I think you're fine with that, as jokingly. Uh, ooh, he gets to play the... <laughs> so he did have all three Spyglasses. Very nice. And he gets to play the third one now. Oh, wow. Noman had all three let go. That is unlucky. I mean, just as unlucky as you were lucky to see all three Spyglass, I guess. So you can't complain too much. Uh, but that does mean, jokingly, we'll be stuck at four cards... He, uh, oh, we see Noman attack the Void Ring here, finds Meditations. Um, a little bit unfortunate, actually, finding Meditations here. <laughs> um, that does mean that this Illusionist will get killed. Uh, this is political, so he can potentially play a Heroe here. Uh, but Crab does, ooh, we see Cloud the Mine and Witch Hunter. That's pretty good. Crab does have the favorable ground. Stronghold, so Crab is winning now. Uh, needs to make sure he uses Shuichi. He already did, never mind. Um, Defender is winning. We see a fan on the Illusionist. Uh... Voidering. So honestly, I think you're fine with this happening. I don't think you want to spend anything else to defend this. Um, your characters both have three fate on them, so the Voidering is not particularly impactful here. Yeah, and we're just going to see a pass. I think that is correct. Um, and you got him to spend a fan on the Illusionist. Who cares, Void, at this point? Yeah. Yeah, spending the fan, I think, was a little bit 
expensive there. I, I don't know if that was the right play. Ooh, and jokingly is just going to go ahead and try and break this Hidden Moon Dojo. This is political, so five skill. Ah, uh, what is this? The firing. Interesting. So I would be a little bit scared about Nomen attacking an Earthring back. Uh, he's going to play this for away with three fate. Interesting. Ooh, there's the court games. Um, if Nomen can win this conflict, that's pretty good. We'll see what Crab can do about this. We see Wayfinder into the conflict. This is going to tie the skill totals. Uh, reveals Rally to the Cause. So I'm guessing that was the Stronghold Province. So jokingly, at this point, jokingly knows what all the provinces are. Ooh, he has another fan. Um, there are only two face down, one under the Stronghold and one not. So even before that Wayfinder, he knew what all of them were. Ooh, Keeper Initiate gets moved home, but then Hiroe moves it back in. Um, I think that's potentially a mistake from Jokingly, because now this Keeper Initiate is getting dishonored. See a rebuild to bring back the favorable grounds. Interesting. So why do you do that? Moves the Keeper home again. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. Uh, Noman is going to win the conflict. He's going to dishonor the keeper. Passes his conflict. Yeah, like why did you do that? As jokingly, I don't, I don't get it. I think that might have been a mistake there. You essentially just wasted a rebuild. Um, Crab is still going to have a bigger board here, but this Honored Hiroe, yeah, um, I think he might have miscounted Glory, uh, trying to claim it with the Keeper Initiates to Glory, but not realizing that Nomen would have three rings. It's the only explanation I can think of. He lost one Honor for it. Um, he didn't actually lose one honor, he just lost the rebuild. Uh, Hiroe would have been able to pull someone in either way. Either way. Um, there was a bowed keeper initiate at home that could have been pulled in and dishonored. Uh, it did sort of... Yeah, the rebuild is the big loss there. It did sort of prevent... Uh, what was I going to say? It did sort of prevent jokingly from using the iron mine to save that keeper initiate with the fan on it. It's not really worth it anymore after you after he gets dishonored, uh, which means jokingly gets to save the iron mine. We see Kudakas on both sides here. Jokingly is going to stick with the one bid. So the dangerous thing about this is that Nomen's stronghold is now going to be turned on for potentially the rest of the game. He's just going to be able to keep stealing back one honor every turn, which is really strong. Uh, looks like Hiroe is going for an air ring here. At defend the wall. So you, you pretty much have to win this as Crab, right? Um, I would defend with... See, no one only has three fate. You don't have to worry about fate worse than death. I would probably defend with everyone except the Witch Hunter. He should push before switch. Not sure what you mean by that. If there's a court games here, you have to send the envoy, I think. Skill 8. 
Yeah, I don't like defending with just Kudaka here. Maybe Crab has a Cloud the Mind? Uh, jokingly, one bids. I would push instead. So you mean bid five as jokingly? Yeah, I think after losing all three of your spy glasses as crab, you should probably switch to a high bid here. Or like at least bid three or four. Because um, having three cards in hand to seven is pretty bad. Uh, hopefully if you can... Yeah, Noman has one I can swim. So that is actually turned on. That's a good point. Uh, but Iron Mine is in play, so... Don't really have to worry about that. I think Jokingly's only hope here is to use Kudaka to draw some more cards. Uh, Hiroi's going to move the Bayushi Liar into the conflict. So now you probably Stronghold. Ooh, Watch Commander, that's really good. So Jokingly, Jokingly probably had the Watch Commander already. Or... I think that's the only reason that you stay at the one bid if you is if you have the watch commander. Uh, we see the crab stronghold. Hopefully he uses Shui yeah, he already used Shuichi. Um, ooh, calling in favors, gonna steal that watch commander, putting it on Kudaka, uh, jokingly is still winning, and he has no fate, so I guess you just pass. If I had a court games, I would consider playing it. Uh, we see the blackmail artists get played. So yeah, this is like really bad for jokingly actually. Uh, Blackmail artist steals an honor now. Kudaka draws a card and gains a fate. Yeah, like Crab just had to win that conflict. But unfortunately not enough. Um, it looks like he's going to go for the watering here seems good and we see a defense yeah I mean the good news for crab is that you still have a fairly large board next turn and you're getting the Imperial Favor with this palace as well. Hard to win conflicts when you have three cards to seven, yeah. Definitely. Uh, what's that? Hawk Tattoo? Um... What? Oh, meditations, right. <laughs> Forgot that that was a thing. Uh, this does give Shuichi plus one military, though, so. And it lets you use this iron mine, so you can see more dynasty cards next turn. So I'm actually not too upset with that as Crab. Spent a fate for it as well. Like, I think that's just fine, honestly. It is pretty unfortunate that your Witch Hunter got clouded, but that's just what happens sometimes. Can save Envoy and do a nice way the crab fate phase combo uh oh yeah he played a reprieve on the shuichi so yeah we might see that it might get cancelled by heroe but you're at least dishonoring him then 
Oh, uh, jokingly had no fate though, so he actually couldn't do that. Interesting that he keeps the iron mine and uses the reprieve. I feel like I would have done it the other way around. Well, actually, there is one calling in favors left. Um, so yeah, maybe that's okay. Vanguard warrior, Caillou envoy, that's pretty good. Play the envoy and then force him to play the liar and then play the vanguard warrior. Uh, Scorpion will get the passing fate still. Maybe you don't even play the Vanguard Warrior. Yeah, he's actually just going to pass. Uh, Stronghold gets used. So now, what do you bid, as jokingly? You have to bid, like, at least three, I think. You need to get some cards here. You are going to be able to swing the Earth Ring as your first conflict, and you have a Covert as well. Uh, you don't want to... You probably don't want to go political because of the Shoju sitting there. Although Scorpion having to play that with only six fate would not be terrible. Kept the palace also. Um, yeah, so I think you have to go Earth Ring is jokingly. Yeah, they're both going to bid three. Seems good. You really want to get this Hiroe out of here. Ooh, going into Meditations is... In, or, uh, sorry, Secret Cache is interesting. And he is going to go for this Earth Ring. Again, I think you just have to go for the Earth Ring on Military here. Uh, you're going to have 9, 10 skill. I think this is probably correct. Yeah, seems good. Um, you definitely want the Void Ring, though, as well. The Void the void Ring and the Air Ring are both really big on this board. So, Bayushi Noman will get the first choice of which one of those he wants to grab. Uh, we might see him grab the Void Ring with Hiroe, and then he can play Shoju in as well if he needs to. Just go ahead and break something. Uh... Yeah, attacking into Secret Cache is a little bit questionable since he gets to see another card now. He could get a Fate Worse Than Death for the Witch Hunter, which would be bad, although not terrible. Uh, breaking this does mean you kill Hidden Moon Dojo, though. So it looks like we are going to see a defense with Kudaka. Uh, probably won't be enough to prevent the break, though, unless he has some more cards. Thinking about not defending, maybe. Even if you defend with Kudaka and you play Fate Worse Than Death, it still breaks. So, yeah, this is tough. Yeah, we see no defense pass. That seems correct, probably. Uh, Shuichi gains a fate. Wow, 11 fate for Crab now. So if he can just make it out of this somehow, he is probably okay. There's the break on Secret Cash. Hidden Moon Dojo goes away. Discards Censure at random. Uh, not what you want to see there, but... That is a one-time Censure, so now if Scorpion does get the favor in the future, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So not terrible. We see the Keeper Initiates come out. More importantly, jokingly gets to draw a card. Um, so Void Ring still looks pretty good. Air Ring looks good as well. Basically, whichever one you don't take, jokingly is going to take on his attack. Uh, looks like he is going for Void. I think I do like that better. This is political. Um, Hiroe is eight skill. We see Kudak. Oh, we see uh, full defense here. Um, hopefully, jokingly has a conflict character. He has only seen the two wayfinders so far. Oh, he has a political conflict left though, so he would need the infiltrator. If he has that though, this is then he's in a really good spot, I think. 
Um, yeah, so attacking defend the wall makes defending a lot more appealing. Uh, Railway moves in the liar once again. Let's see if Crab has any other cards. Ooh, there's an ornate fan. Putting him at 11 to 11, so not winning still. If Jokingly can somehow win this, that would be huge, but I don't know if he can. Uh, we see Court Games going to dishonor Kudaka. If he has the third fan, he can play that. Ooh, Talisman of the Sun. Interesting. So he's going to move to Shameful Display here. Uh, and there are no more let goes. There is one calling in favors. We'll see if he has that. There are three assassinations as well, but there's an iron mine, so you can just cancel it essentially, and then Noman goes down to three honor, so you might not want to do that. Let's see. He he can't play I can swim either. Because the bids are the same. Hmm. Yeah, so I, f I feel like the only thing Noman could have to deal with this would be the second calling in favors. Um, he's seen one way of the scorpion, could have more of those. He has seven fate, which is a lot. He could play a Kachiko. If he has that, there's one of those. Um... Unfortunately, this talisman means, ooh, moving to meditations. I actually really like this. Um, I was thinking he would move to shameful, but I think ta uh, meditations is a lot better. Because this means that Hiroe is going to die now. So even if he gets this void ring on you, you just got a void ring on him, essentially. So now you can just lose this conflict. Ooh, Mountain Does Not Fall. That's really good as well. Uh, that means this big Keeper Initiate, which is, I guess, why he played the Talisman on the same one, um, is going to... Assume this is the one with attachments, yeah. Uh, that's kind of a problem with Jugoku, is if you have two characters with the same name in play, it doesn't actually tell you which one that the Mountain got played on, or whatever the event is. Because um, it just says the name of the character. But... Not a big deal. Usually it's pretty obvious where it's going. Uh, I think we probably see a cancel here. You can dishonor the Bayushi Liar and then you don't lose any skill. If Jokingly has a Court Games... If he had a Court Games, he would have just played it. Um, so I think Noman is considering whether he wants to cancel this. Yeah, he is going to cancel that. Let's see if Jokingly has another card. Why didn't he go for Shameful? Um, so if he if he talismans to Shameful, he can win the conflict. But then he doesn't get to resolve the Void Ring because he left Defend the Wall. Uh, if he goes to Meditations, he gets to kill Hiroe, yeah. So that that's why he went to Meditations instead. Uh, there's a Cloud the Mind on Kudaka. Seems good. Both players going to have a massive amount of fate going into the next turn. 
It looks like Scorpion will get the favor probably. So it's a good thing. Moving to Shameful Display, you can still lose the conflict. Yeah, that's true as well. Um, so I would have actually waited to play Cloud the Mind until the conflict had already started because that would mean that he's more likely to go air and you actually would rather have him go air than fire. See, no defense, pass. It's going to honor Kudaka or dishonor somebody on crab side. Yeah, he just honors Kudaka. And Nomen will now get the favor. Uh, it looks like there are no reprieves for Crab. So the Iron Mine will be saving this Keeper Initiate, I think. Uh, keeping that Talisman around is really important. Yep. Unfortunately, that means Shuichi will die. So this is kind of a bad spot for Jokingly because he really needs cards, but he doesn't have a lot of honor to give away. Um, he does have a bigger board. I think you probably keep the Vanguard Warrior. Ooh, he keeps both. Uh, looks like it works out. He finds another Shuichi and a Karata District. That's pretty good. So I think jokingly just buys the whole board here. Buy Shuichi with a bunch of fate and buy Vanguard Warrior. And then pass. Yep, Shuichi three fate. Uh let's see, Nomen has a couple Shoju's over there. He's gonna play one. Now you play the Vanguard Warrior, yep. Shoju dupe. So jokingly still gets passing fate. Uh, they are both at 8 fate, so it doesn't matter too much. Blackmail Artist seems good. And I think it's jokingly you have to bid at least 3 here. Ooh, he bids 2. So I actually don't like this. Um, yeah, City of the Open Hand is just going to steal that honor back as well. So yeah, I, I definitely would have been bid 3 there as Crab. Um, you really need the cards as well. So Nomen has the first conflict. Let's see, what ring does he want? Jokingly has to be careful if there's an assassinate, which there's a very good chance that there is. Gonna go at that defend the wall yet again. Uh, contesting the air ring seems good. This is a lot of political skill. I think as Crab, you want to win this. Yeah, I like this defense. Ooh, Witch Hunter as well, wow. Really wants to make sure he wins, I guess. Uh, no, maybe, yeah, thinking about that one. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This would be 12 if she defends. Um. He has to be careful of the shoju. He probably probably talismans to shameful is the first action. In case there's an assassinate, I think you have to do that. Okay, he uh, is going to steal the watch commander. I think that's fine also. But if there is an assassinate, then... Yeah, I think this is actually too risky. I think you should talisman first. Okay, I can swim is going to discard Kudaka. I guess it's possible he doesn't have the assassinate. You definitely go to Shameful now, right? Okay, Cloud the Mind on Shoju. Hmm. 
So since Kudaka is dead now, there's a court games. Um, yeah, I guess he doesn't have the assassinate. Uh, that is a bit unlucky for Noman. It's in the bottom 13 cards of his deck. He does have three of those. We see Court Game is going to honor Shuichi here. So he actually wants to save the Talisman, I guess, since he's fairly certain that there's no Assassinate now. Hmm. But yeah, since Kudaka is dead now, he won't get her effect if he wins the Air Ring, unfortunately. Oh wow, he did have the assassinate. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess he was just slow rolling that. Um, I'm not sure why jokingly didn't move to shameful display earlier. I guess he could have another talisman. Nope, that's going to be it. Uh, so win but not break, thanks to the Karata District. Airing's going to gain two honor, and Blackmail Artist is going to steal one honor. So Jokingly is now down to four honor to Nomen's five. Not a good spot to be in. Um, we're going to see a military water attack here. Has he not seen any of his skirmishers? Yeah, it looks like no skirmishers in the top half of the deck. That's pretty unfortunate. Maybe he wanted to bait out, assassinate, and somehow... I mean, I guess, but... Like, if he has the assassinate, you're not going to get to defend the wall of the airing, because you're just going to lose the conflict, right? I feel like... He should have um, should have just gone to shameful display earlier. Uh, we see a f a fine katana on the vanguard warrior. There's ooh, fate worse than death. That actually hurts pretty bad for crab here because that means that uh, until the end of the phase, yeah. Uh, the Vanguard Warrior won't get to use his ability, unfortunately, now. Not to mention that is another honor loss for Crab, so he will be down to three honor at the end of this turn. And Scorpion's board is going to be sticking around. So things are not looking good for Crab. He does have a pretty big fate lead, I guess. And he did get the favor. So I think you discard both of these holdings. Um, I think you definitely discard Palace. You need some characters here to play. And, ooh, he actually discards Karata but not Palace. Interesting. Uh, I was going to say, I think you do discard the palace, or uh, sorry, the Karata district, because uh, Scorpion is like pretty much out of attachments to play on their own characters. Um, let's see. Scene one fan, one uh, two fans, one katana. Yeah, that's actually. Scorpion only has attachments now that he wants to play on his opponent's characters, so. The only the only use you would get out of Karata District is to counter a calling in favors, and it's not really worth keeping it for that. Um, we see a Mia Mystic. The Shrewd Yasuki is pretty good here. Uh, Borderlands Defender is always good as well. They're both going to bid one. Uh, jokingly, is still down six cards, though, so it's a pretty tough spot.
Nomen can even assassinate the Yasuki still if he has it. Oh wait, no, there's an iron mine, never mind. Good old iron mine. So jokingly is first player. Um I think you might have to go for an earth attack again. You could go uh yeah, big brain mine. Uh keeps getting him on defend the wall too. It's the iron mine province this game. Uh you could go Political Earth with Shuichi and Covert Shoju. Oh, we see a meek informant, so we're going to get to see what's in Jokingly's hand. He has a reprieve and two spreading the darkness. Wow, this is... Ooh, and there's a cloud the mind on the Shujisuki. So this is actually a terrible hand for Jokingly. Like... <laughs> yeah, that's really unfortunate. Um... I think this is actually the exact same reason that Joe decided to cut Spreading the Darkness after his game where he lost to Nomen. Like, two honor is just a lot. So yeah, this is pretty bad for jokingly here. Um, we will see the Earth Ring. Let's see, he's going to go military and covert Kudaka sends the Yasuki as well. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, he has political favor though. So if Shoju def defends, that's 5 strength. You have 6. So yeah, he would have to defend with all three of these characters if you Covert Kudaka. Um, changing the Covert to Shoju. Maybe going to switch to Political. Either one is fine, I think. Um, if you go Political, you have the Favor, and Shujisuki has one extra Political skill. But Scorpion has three extra skill that he could potentially defend with, so seems fine either way. Yep, gonna go military at Pilgrimage, Contesting Earth. Ooh, wow, he's actually sending everyone on this attack. That seems kind of crazy. Like, Crab is dead on board, yeah, that's kind of true. Um, if he gets this Earth Ring, he'll get the Keepers so he can at least defend. Man, I don't know. I think I would definitely leave the Borderlands Defender at home. Uh, with this defense, you're actually not even breaking. And there's a Fate Worse Than Death on the Borderlands Defender. That's fine, you're still winning. And it didn't change whether it was breaking or not, so... Uh, I guess that's why he attacked with all three. Ooh, there's the Assassinate, so you Iron Mine that. 100%, yep. Now Scorpion steals an honor. Yep, there it is. So three honor for Scorpion, two for Crab in a pretty dangerous spot. He is still winning this Earth Ring. So he will get the Keeper Initiates. How many does he have? Two still? Yeah, two Keepers. Ooh, Way of the Scorpion on Shuichi, and I think if Crab doesn't have any cards here, that will mean the game. Uh, not having the Keeper Initiates to defend means that Scorpion can just do an unopposed air ring and win. 
Oh, uh, it looks like jokingly has uh, played a spreading the darkness to concede the game. So yeah, that is going to be it. Yeah, unfortunately, Crab will lose that game. Uh, so that means Bayushi Noman will be advancing to the finals. Yeah, this is the semifinals. So yeah, he'll be advancing to the finals. Um, Crab once again made it so close, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, that favorable ground rebuild play. Yeah, that that was definitely a big mistake um, earlier on. Yeah, we actually yeah we knew Crab's hand there, so he was actually just dead on board. Yeah, because there's no way for him to win this conflict. So I think this conflict is just a mistake. Like, you have to assume that Scorpion has the cards he needs, right? Trying to dishonor Scorpion early as well. Yeah, that's another thing is he dropped to a one bid pretty early on. Um, the reason he did it was because he had a Watch Commander in his hand and he thought he could uh, keep chipping away at Scorpion's honor. But the Watch Commander got stolen with a Calling in Favors, unfortunately. And whenever you go, whenever you put Scorpion at really low honor and you still have high honor, they're just going to slowly start chipping away and, you know, stealing the honor back one every turn with the City of the Open Hand. So you do have to be really careful about that. Um, having no cards in hand, essentially, for jokingly really hurt him that game. But yeah, that's going to do it. Um... So Scorpion advances to finals, and on the other side it'll be a Scorpion and either a Phoenix or another Scorpion. So if Travis hasn't played his game yet, he has three Scorpions to beat if he wants to win. Um, it's looking pretty likely that we get a Scorpion winning this game, or not this game, this cup. But yeah, that's going to do it for that game. So thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.